I'm standing in line at the grocery store, and the lady in front of me turns and goes, how big do you think a 10 by 13 storage unit is? <laughs> So well, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I'm going to have to go with 10 by 13. <laughs> and I was passing through Mississippi. I stopped to eat. I ordered a salad. And the waitress said, what kind of dressing? I said, I want Caesar. And she said, oh, no. She said, honey, said, they come in these real easy to open packets. You won't need no Caesars. <laughs> And then I ordered a large Coke, and she said, we don't have large, so we only have small and medium. <laughs> now, where I'm from, you need three sizes to have a medium. <laughs> Just give me that bigger one. St. Augustine, Florida, and a friend of mine gone with me, also has very short hair. The girl walked over to us and said, are y'all related? And I said, no. And she said, are you sisters? <laughs> I said, where did I lose you? <laughs> and even at my great state of Tennessee. I stopped at McDonald's and I ordered an egg and cheese biscuit. Girl taking my order asked me did I want my egg round or folded. Well, I've never been asked that before, but I considered my options and I said, I'll go with brown. She said, we only have folded. <laughs> I drove through Hardy's one time, ordered a jelly biscuit. And as I pulled away from the window, I thought, hmm, I better check my bag. I looked and there was no jelly. So I pulled back around to the window and I said, I didn't get any jelly. And she pointed to a sign that said condiments available upon request. <laughs> I said, yeah, but it's a jelly biscuit. She said, I know our manager's just very strict. He doesn't allow us to hand out any condiments that aren't requested at the window. <laughs> I said, well, I could understand if I ordered an egg biscuit and I also wanted jelly, I'd need to ask for it at the window, but jelly's part of the order. If I ordered a sausage and biscuit, I wouldn't have to ask for the sausage at the window. She said, sausage isn't a condiment. <laughs> about that story, she thinks I'm the one that didn't get it. <laughs> I feel certain that when I drove away, she said to her co-worker, that lady thought sausage was a condiment. <laughs> I was working in Indiana one time, it was just across the Kentucky line off Interstate 65, and right there is where the time zone changes. And I'd forgotten to ask where my show was, if they were on Central Time or Eastern Time. Well, I'd run into Walmart anyway, so I'd just grabbed a woman in the store, and I said, are you on Central Time or Eastern Time? <laughs> she said, I don't work here. <laughs> Hits just keep on coming. <laughs> and not long ago, I was sitting in the doctor's office waiting room, and a lady strikes up a conversation with me and starts telling me about a trip she's getting ready to make to Washington. So I said, Washington State or Washington, D.C.? She said, I don't know. <laughs> And 
then she continued to talk about her trip, so I'm thinking she didn't understand the question. So again, I said, I'm sorry, did you say you were going to Washington State or to Washington, D.C.? She said, I don't know, so wherever the president lives. <laughs> and her vote counts just as much. <laughs>